بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احب ان الله the question was asked <clears throat> assalamu alaikum brother i had a question about marriage i believe i need to get married i'm 20 years old and starting college and will be done in 3 years inshallah i don't believe i can wait that long is it okay to marry a girl while we both still live with our parents or should the man move in right away is it better if i wait i believe allah will help me but my situation is very hard being in school makes marriage so hard and it is hard to handle the fitna what would you advise finish school then get married or try now and put my trust in allah first and foremost this is a common question and a common dilemma what i will say uh as we know the hadith of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we mentioned it many times where the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam said ya ma'ashar al-shabab man istata'a alaykum aw minkum alba'a fil yatazawwaj uh o youth for those who are able from amongst you then you should marry the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did what he gave a command so we know also as the ulama of ahlus sunna they look at the as far as the fiqh they look that and through their deduction and through their analysis and have come to the conclusion that the hukum or the ruling with regards to being married uh fits the ahkam al khamsa that sometimes it can be an obligation sometimes it can be mustahab recommended sometimes it can be uh something that's just simply mubah and and sometimes it can be meaning permissible and sometimes it could be actually disliked in a certain uh scenarios or uh maybe even perhaps haram under certain circumstances so when it comes to from what you described and Allah azza wa jalla knows best it is very important that you strive to get married what i will say with regards to advice regarding that however is that number 1 it's very important that if you are embarking in uh in in getting married and you are going to be in the university that you focus on your studies and focus on your family and that means that in order to fulfill what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said fi kitabi al-karim الرجال قوامون على النساء that the men are the maintainers and supporters or protectors of the women in order to fulfill that obligation you need to work so that means you're going to be going to school you're going to be bringing in some sort of income you need some sort of income to take care of you and your spouse i don't know your exact cultural background and i don't know if it's from your custom to stay with the woman's family or the woman's going to stay with your family perhaps if you have a family that is can can support that then and you find that it's absolutely necessary and the woman is okay with that then you can do that in order to meet your particular needs likewise there are some women that are wealthy and you have this in some of the arab countries but we're more familiar with this in the west where women are independent and perhaps they don't need a man to take care of them but they just need to be married so they're willing to give up the right to being cared for or at least temporarily you know she's working she doesn't really need his paycheck perhaps but what i will say that's problematic and this happens time and time again uh especially in the west we have this uh situation is that when a man is not working uh and this is perhaps even from the fitra the general nature that the women are going to be less uh inclined to respect you a man that is working or a man that's taking care of his wife if he's regardless of whether he's working he has the money if he's a businessman if he's just independently wealthy had a ni'ma min ni'amillah uh but the fact that he's taking care of his wife then this earns her respect more so because then when times become difficult and if you are not providing a roof over your wife's head uh and doing your obligation that the shar 
has that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded you to do, then you will see and often feel the repercussions that the woman will respect you less and she will use that sometimes even as a weapon against you that, hey, you're not taking care of me. Uh, why should I listen to you? Why should I sleep with you? Why should I? These are real scenarios, very common that we have, uh, that we deal with. So it's very important to balance yourself that, yes, your education is very important. And it's also very important uh, as far as your marriage, but you need to have a means either to care for her or unless your family is going to help you with that for uh, uh, the time being until you graduate or until you become uh, a bit more grounded in your studies, whatever the situation is. So that is the general advice that I would give you is to be mindful of that and to be conscious of the rights of the women and for the women to be conscious of the rights uh, of their spouse and that at the same time, if you feel it's going to be uh, an immense burden on you by not being married, then you should strive to do so and protect yourself. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in your decision. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and your new spouse uh, to be uh, with mahabba with with love uh muadda and love and and rahma and mercy between you wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala nabiyyina muhammad